Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna dig through all of my empties. There are a ton of them. There are things that I absolutely must repurchase ASAP. And there are others that I'm like, well, mm, no, I don't like you. And I'm gonna talk about all of that stuff too. This tends to be a category of video where I focus on skincare, hair care, body care. There are a couple of makeup odds and ends, but I just, I have to say, whenever I'm watching videos on YouTube and people do empties, or they're like, I hit pan on this and hit pan on that, when they have like this wide collection, I'm always like, how? Like, are you using the same thing every single day, even though you have like all these options? Because I feel like I kind of skip around a lot. Like I have my home run favorites, but even those tend to be skin, like foundations, concealers that I will repurchase. Anyway, let me start off rambly as usual. Yay winning, go team go. I'm salty. Do you guys like this? I love this, it's from Mother Denim. I think it's so cute. Uh, anyway, and it lets people know to stand back when I'm wearing this, not really. Okay, so first up, let's chat about balm cleansers. I recently went on a journey with my balm cleanser and I deviated from a favorite. This is the favorite, the Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm from Elemis. It smells so good. It's just that like wrap me up in a massage spa scent. They do also have a really phenomenal eye makeup remover. I'm very, very picky with skincare. So I have tried a lot from them and those two seem to be the standout winners. I deviated because I wanted to find out if there was another makeup balm cleanser out there that would do just as good of a job removing my makeup, maybe with less intense emollient properties in the cleanser. And I ended up not liking either one that I purchased. The first one that I purchased is the Green Clean Melt Away Makeup Cleansing Balm from Pharmacy. Now I've heard so many good things about this range and I definitely would be willing to pick up other items from this company. But this one right here, I just found that it, it left kind of like a slippery film on my skin after I rinsed and did even like a cloth to kind of remove the excess, which is what you typically wanna do with a balm cleanser. I just felt like this kind of balmy, it's a balm. I just, I just, oh! I wanted to like it because the ingredients are just like, yeah. Don't break me out. And sometimes I feel like this is a little bit too heavy. This one just felt even richer than the Elemis one. And it was just kind of like butter, like just in a bad way where it was just too hard to remove even with a cloth. You know, it can be a little bit tricky with a balm cleanser, which is intended to remove stubborn waterproof makeup, long wear makeup, full coverage makeup, which you know I am dipped in at least three days a week. I am like the full glam, bam, thank you ma'am type of a deal. So I need something like this because removing makeup from your skin properly is the best way to ensure that your skin gets a break, that you don't have buildup and grime and junk clogging your pores and preventing things from renewing, like removing your makeup is so, so key. Um, I, I just don't like this one. It was too, too heavy. This is the Living Cleansing Balm. It says, then I met you and then we broke up. Moving into this Paracone MD, the Fixer Solid Oil. This is one that I would not repurchase just because it went so fast and it is so expensive and I didn't see enough of a result. Any areas of the body that needed intense hydration, that's where I would use this in my night routine. And I just feel like I plowed right on through this so quickly. I think you can get a better product for less money. And if you're looking for something to just nourish the skin that will do a lot of the same things, just get some Aquaphor from the drugstore. Okay, moving into my shower. I am obsessed with this. I think this is such a beautiful product. It's really luxurious. I love during my shower or bath to have beautiful scents just wrap me up. You know, I definitely do limit fragrance in my liquid skincare, in liquid makeup. I just am selective, you know? And in my shower is where I like to just 
just be in a garden of everything that smells good and enjoy that moment and relax and de-stress. I saw a meme recently where it was like the three different kinds of showers that girls take and it's so accurate. It's like the one shower where your hair is up in a bun and you're just in out, you're just washing what needs to be washed and you're like out the door because you have no time. And then there's kind of the wash your hair, wash your body shower and then there's like the full meal deal. I personally call this kind of a shower spa Sunday where I spend a little more time. I exfoliate my body. I use a good body scrub. I use a good body oil shower gel that's really nourishing. And then I give myself a once over with a razor blade and shave everything off my body that I want to shave off my body so that I'm feeling just like so smooth and good. I pumice my feet in shower body conditioner. Like the whole thing is just like smooth it out hydrate and I love how that feels. It's like the coziest feeling ever to step out of a shower like that, wrap yourself up in a robe and watch some housewives or something like that and life is good. This is by Lawlicious. This is the Sugar Reef. Oh, it is like a Hawaiian vacation in a bottle. Oh, I just, I love it. I don't think that there's a Lawlicious scent that I don't get along with. Like, I love them all. Normally, I'm not a citrus girl, but like their citrus, love. Just everything A to Z, I love their stuff so much. So I also recently ran out of the Lawlicious Sugar Kiss Sugar Scrub. I use scrubs like twice a week. I just personally really like having soft skin. <laughs> it smells like cotton candy. So if you love vanilla scented anything and you like those sweet scents, but maybe you want it to be a little more grown up and a little bit more sophisticated, Lawlicious is where it is at. They do have one called birthday cake and I went through here pretty quickly. It really smells like a slice of cake. And by the time I was done with this one, I had made up my mind that I liked the sugar better, that this was just like maybe a little bit too sweet. Like at first you're like, this is the best thing ever, cake, you know? And then at some point you're like, I don't wanna smell like a slice of cake, you know? Um, this one is just kind of like cake, but a little sexier. Um, reminds me of a more sophisticated version of Warm and Cozy from Victoria's Secret. If any of you ever wore that, it's like that, but better. Oh, this one. This is from Goop. This is the Gtox 5 Salt Detox Body Scrub. This one I will use at nighttime. I will use in a bath. I remember seeing a life coach that was all about salt and like how detoxifying salt is physically and emotionally and that it can just like guard you from people's bad energy. And whether you believe that or not, if you're sitting there and you're like, get away from me bad energy, you know? It just feels good in your brain to think that. There's so many health benefits, it's mineral rich and just seeps in. And if you've ever had a massage or anything where you're kind of detoxing, you're doing a cleanse, a juice cleanse, and you need a little extra help to feel better, like you've hit that wall where you feel kind of fuzzy and nauseous, doing a salt bath and a scrub is a really, really good workaround for that. So tip to you guys if you're into all of the health and wellness that I'm into. I love that life. I was telling my dad this um, a few months ago. I was like, you know, it's interesting that so many people will be like, hey, talk to you. Why did you start Halo? Why are you into supplements? Like, what's that about? You never talk about that. I really feel there's such a connect between how we feel, our health, wellness, how we approach life and how we care for ourselves for the long term. Because for me, I feel like taking care of myself right now is gonna ensure that down the line, I'm doing okay. If you don't have this vehicle running right, then what do you have? You know, you can't enjoy it the way that you should be able to. I feel terrible for people that struggle with different illnesses that they have no control over. But what I'm saying is if you are healthy and young, you gotta put in the work to stay healthy. You know, you gotta care for yourself. By the way, P.S., while I mentioned Halo very, very briefly, I know, I know, I keep teasing you guys that new things are coming and I could not be more thrilled. It has been just a little bit of a hurdle to get there because behind the scenes, you know, you want everything to be running smoothly and just right. So we're almost there. 
But I have to tell you guys, one of the questions that I get all of the time is, Tati, do you really take Halo every day? And I'm like, hello, why would I create a product that I didn't take every day that I am sharing with all of you? I take Halo every single day. I am still taking Kiwi right now. I have such a crush on Kiwi. I love it. I feel like it's very skin focused and that's what I need. I don't need help regrowing my hair. But if you're someone that does need hair regrowth and nail regrowth and a little love on the skin, then the original pink pill is better for using Kiwi, but they're both fabulous formulas. I'm gonna put up some before and afters for you guys. Go visit the IG if you want to learn more about the product and halobeauty.com. I will put that in the description box. But yes, I take Halo every single day, so a monthly empty for me is definitely my Halo Kiwi. I happen to have a lot of it on hand, you know, I am the CEO, so I never need to replenish. I always have it. I feel like it is my big, huge beauty secret. I feel like it has turned back the hands of time. I feel better with how inflamed my body gets. My immune system is not the greatest. It's been just such a fight for me to feel and stay healthy throughout my life. So I am obsessed with it. It's so, so good. You guys, please check it out. Learn more about the product. It will wow you. And enough said, I'm gonna move right along. Speaking of hair, I won't be buying this again. This is from Orbe. It's a root touch-up spray. Now, I don't necessarily feel like I have a need for hair regrowth. You know, yes, I do have extensions in, but my hair grows really long. And the reason that I do extensions is because I love the way thick wavy hair looks and my natural hair, no matter how healthy it is, no matter how long it is, it's very, very fine in texture. There's plenty of it, but it does not hold a curl. Like it just stays flat. And I hate the way that looks personally. So I love to have fun with my extensions and you know, it's a good time for me. It's just what I'm into. And I do still find that like my baby hairs, when they grow in, they're so much lighter than how I darken my hair that I like to spray a little bit of color around the perimeter. I feel like that hair grows in so light that it looks like I have foundation in my hair if I don't do that, but it's just my hair. So anyway, long story short, the Airbrush Root Touch Up from Orbe is nice if you're not gonna fuss with your hair at all, but if you so much as like touch your hair you will be like, <laughs> and you'll need like a napkin or something. I have sat on the couch and had James be like, <laughs> like he's like, don't lean back, what are you thinking? Cause I'm that person that I'll like smash my head into the couch and God, I wear a lot of makeup. That's probably a bad idea. You know, I have white furniture everywhere. What was I thinking? Um, but anyway, this one I've decided, I just prefer using a good old brown eyeshadow and a brush. You don't need to spend your cash on this. It's a really stupid purchase. So I regret it and I would not recommend it. Something that I always travel with, I need a new one of, but what's really annoying is like, you can't refill it. Like, why did they do that? Is there a workaround? Oh, oh my God. I just figured it out. Stop that. No effing way. I've never been able to break this puppy off of there. Stop that. Oh my God, problem solved. I have been repurchasing these little things for so long because I love traveling with them, but they always had that plastic that felt like it was sealed on the lid right here. I didn't know you could refill these. Wow. Okay, um, we're gonna talk about kale, la, kale, 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 la, lu, yaha. This bottle spills everywhere. I don't know why. It just like, I feel like it's leaking through the bottom. I don't know what the heck happens. If you so much as have like a slight tilt with this, it will be everywhere. And this has happened to me three separate times. So I'm not a fan of that. This is an AHA pH balanced toner, hyaluronic acid, aloe, like a lot of good things in here. I am not the biggest fan of it. It stings quite a bit. So if you have sensitive skin and I don't even have sensitive skin, I think that you would have a hard time with this. The fact that it spills everywhere is just like a very unwelcome side effect. So I didn't really like this guy right here. 
Um, love this. It's called the Dirt Oil Pulling Mouthwash and it is luscious rose, clove, and mint. This gives you the best breath. If you don't know what oil pulling is, Google it. Again, it's one of the you know health things that I do. So oil pulling is basically swishing oil and not swallowing it for up to 20 minutes. I usually do 10 minutes in the morning and it's funny because James will sometimes try to talk to me and I'll be like, mm but I will literally like pull it through all of the cracks of your teeth and it's a way to just cleanse all of that gunk out. And I just feel like when I run my tongue along my teeth that they're so much smoother and softer and the clove scent in here is so nice. All right, this Lucky Bamboo water gel. This one I feel is better suited for oilier skin. It just did not moisturize me as much. Should have known that because it's a gel formulation, even though it does say that it's going to really hydrate. I, I don't know, I just really wasn't into this one. The Black Tea Firming Overnight Mask from Fresh. Uh, I think I am gonna get another one of these. This one is so nice. I really love the Black Tea Mask if you're doing you know, really special makeup, special occasion makeup, and you want your pores to look really nice. It does have kind of a cooling, tingling ingredient in there that could be irritating to some skin types that maybe is making you feel like your skin is firmer and smoother than it is. But I will tell you this, whenever I have used that mask, I always have an incredible skin day and my makeup goes on so smooth. So because of that, and I've repurchased that one probably three times, because of that, I got the Black Tea Firming Overnight Mask and it's something that you would replace your night cream with and just basically it's a more intense moisturizing cream that you wouldn't want to use during the day underneath your makeup. This one right here is like one of those things. I keep coming back for more. This has dimethicone in it. I was really like going through the ingredients and I'm like, Shoot, it's like even like getting through that ingredient that I personally think is pore clogging and kind of puts a barrier between um, where other ingredients that you would put on top can penetrate through. It gives you that like immediate blur. So I like to use this one in the daytime and then kind of go into, you know, moisturizers or primers and makeup. I don't like to use this at night because I just feel like it can be a little bit too clogging, but it's such a beautiful mask. It will really revitalize and bring your skin back to life. This is the Sicily Black Rose. Oh, it's so good. It's really, really good. Very expensive, but very, very good. This is the Rose Face Mask from Fresh. I'm not gonna repurchase this one, and I just don't like it as much as I feel like I should. It's a nice, enjoyable experience, and it smells so nice, and it's very gel-like, and it feels like it should be doing more than it does. It just never hydrates me as much as, say, this one right here does. And to me, it just kind of feels like a lot of fluff. I hate saying that because I love Fresh so much. I just talk so favorably about um, two of their products, but this one just isn't it for me. I already repurchased this. This is the Clear Activating Mist from Osmosis. This has ingredients that are antifungal, so it's great after a workout. It's great if you're prone to bacterial breakouts. I always mist this either underneath a serum or on top. It's just a beautiful spray that you can really use anywhere. If I'm working out and I know that I'm gonna be, you know, unable to shower for a minute, like I'll just kind of mist down and feel like it just makes everything safeguarded and gets rid of some of the yuck on the skin. And it's just a beautiful product. I need more of this one. I'm using a different scent right now that I don't like as much, but this is from a company called Myro. Oh, I miss this scent. This one is Pillow Talk. Oh my gosh, it matches all of my other fragrance so well. You guys know I love musky, patchouli, Tokyo Milk Dark, Santal, like just gorgeous, darker, sexier fragrances. I'm not a citrus floral kind of a girl. I'm surprisingly a little bit more mysterious and I even need my underarms to be mysterious. So Pillow Talk is my favorite and I really love this natural deodorant. I just received one in PR that's really good as well that I'm testing out, but this has been the best one that I've ever found. Um, I am also out of the Don't Despair Repair deep conditioning mask from Briogeo. This is such a good deep conditioning mask. You don't wanna use it every 
day, but if you find that your ends are really dry and they need that extra hug of love from your conditioner, it rinses really clean. It just brings everything back to like nice manageability and softness. And it is a five free product, meaning no sulfates, no silicones, no parabens, no DHA, no synthetic fragrance, and no, oh, I always miss one no artificial dyes, it's six free. Update, we're not using this in our household anymore. James decided out of the freaking blue that he does not like this. So this used to be his favorite. I really feel like James should come back and do like a James's favorites again. He's like, I'm a simple man with simple taste. I don't need to, not a lot has changed. And I'm like, enough has changed. The people need to hear it. So leave it in the comments below and thumbs this video up if you wanna see a man favorites from James because I see in his drawer, like he has new things and it's not this. This was his favorite forever. And then all of a sudden he's like, I just don't like it anymore. I decided my skin's better without a toner. And I'm like, okay. We both were really into this. I'm not using this anymore either. I honestly just use the osmosis and then I'm into different essences and that's that. Uh, recently, I also got this kind of starter pack, try everything kit from Dr. Barbara Sturm. Everybody like loses their mind over this stuff. And I think it's really super expensive. It just didn't do enough for me. I kind of just felt like I was rubbing lotion on the face, rinsing it off and going, okay, what do we got? And it was kind of just the same effect of most masks that I already had on hand. However, their hyaluronic serum, which is so expensive, I am almost at the bottom of the bottle and I'm like, why have I done this to myself? Because now I want more. It's a really good hyaluronic serum. Um, I will say that if you're someone really bougie with your skincare, maybe it's worth looking into. The other items I tried, you know, I even tried the primer and I was just kind of like, eh, like I kind of get it, I kind of don't. Let me know, have you guys tried that? I would be curious to find out. I definitely need another one of these. This is the Sephora brand waterproof retractable brow pencil in the shade soft charcoal. Such a good shade, like a gorgeous rich brown, really itty bitty precise tip on there that just gives you so much control but also adds a lot of depth and dimension, especially if you have brows like mine that are just they're light and there's not a lot there to work with. I really love that shade and the texture. All right, for lips, I wanna give a shout out to Can't Relate by Jeffree Star. Oh my God, I'm just realizing, I've been telling people that I'm wearing Hi, How Are Ya? And it's been confusing them to pieces. It's Can't Relate that's my favorite. Oh my God, I'm literally just realizing this. This one right here, I've gone through two of them. I just like, I'm obsessed with this shade. I'm wearing it right now. I think it's so flattering. I think it's like the prettiest peachy shade ever. I never go through lip products ever. Like this is so rare, but this is my freaking favorite. I love it. And then another one that surprised me that I went through, and this is the brand new one. I did a standalone video about a year ago trying out these YSL lippies, and this is the best red liquid lip on the planet. It will dry your lips out, be warned. But it's not, I mean, like for me, it's not like I wear a red lip every single day of my life, so I'm willing to make that sacrifice because it's so budge proof. The tip on here is kind of slanted where you can really just get the hug of your lips and it is just beautiful and you can literally like wipe your lips and like nothing comes off. I hope that this was informative and enjoyable for you guys to watch. Empties videos are not for everyone, but like twice a year I do like to do them. So if you did like it, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, share it, leave comments, tell me what you agree with, what you don't agree with, all of that good stuff. I love hearing from you and just know that I appreciate you guys so much for hanging out with me and I truly mean that. And I know I get kind of cheesy when I say this kind of stuff, but I'm gonna say it because I just like, I feel it on my heart. It's the coolest that sitting down and doing a video like this is part of my job, that I get to try, experience, make notes, research, and then come back here and just share with you all what my thoughts are. And that is so, so, so awesome. So thank you guys for being a part of this whole journey with me, for watching my videos and hanging out. And I do genuinely hope that they're helpful. So always give me feedback. Let me know what you want more of. Let me know what you want less of. And just know that I, I read most everything, even when I can't reply. Make sure you're subscribed before you leave, ring the bell and come back soon. I'm here Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 10 a.m. PST. And I hope to hang out with you again in the very near future. I feel like Mr. Rogers, 
I'm gonna go now. Love you the most. All right, bye you guys. I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.